Today, I'm going to attempt to clarify some confusion when it comes to Beckett's autograph authentication process. Now, this is off the back of the backdoor baseball card videos that I've put out in the last few days, in particular, the one from 24 hours ago, where I took you through the fact that Nelson Rada himself said that this card on camera was fake. It's not his auto on that card. Now, this is one of those cards that did appear to be backdoored, so this just adds to the confusion to that whole storyline. Check out those videos. But the thing I want to talk to today caught me off guard a little bit when it came to people commenting on that video. So many people said, because of my comments in the video around Beckett not being liable because they don't check the autograph, a few people said, well, it's got an autograph you know, of 10. Why aren't they checking it? Aren't they you know, authenticating the autograph? When I read Beckett's website, it tells me they authenticate the autograph and then they give it you know, a grade. Now, I thought this was common knowledge amongst people within the hobby, but turns out it's not. And then doing a bit more research, taking a read of Beckett's website themselves, or myself, I should say, I can understand you know, where some of this confusion is coming from. If I quickly jump to their website now, you can see that um, there's a few things in here that could confuse people, right? So if you just type in beckett-authentication.com slash services slash grading, you'll come to a page that looks like this, or you can just Google Beckett authentication autographs into Google and it'll come up as well. Um, if you click into this where it basically says card and auto grade, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I'll zoom in a little bit. It says, first, Beckett Authentication Services evaluates the autograph to determine authenticity. That's the first step they do. Once the autograph is deemed authentic, it is then graded on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the best. So this is essentially where people are getting stuck on and where the confusion is coming from. Because it basically talks through the next step is to then look through you know, the trading card itself and then grade the card itself. They then encapsulate it and send it back to the customer. So when people are sort of listening to my comment around Beckett not checking this kind of thing, and then reading this, they're very much confused. Now, many people know that PSA follow that process that I talked to in my video where if the card is, you know, a Panini card, a Topps card, a Leaf card, on the back of the card, it says this autograph is guaranteed by, you know, us as the manufacturer, PSA won't, you know, test or determine the authenticity of that auto itself, right? They take the manufacturer's word. Now, BGS do the same thing, but people are confused by that wording, like I just said. The thing you sort of need to keep front of mind with this wording is literally the last paragraph there. And this will explain everything you need to know. And I'm surprised many people are not seeing this, but again, this wording is incredibly confusing. Cards that have autographs which have you know, been certified directly by the manufacturer can be submitted directly to Beckett Grading Services. That essentially means that it just goes straight to this step right here. It does not go through the authentication. It literally just gets the auto graded because BGS themselves are taking the guarantee from the manufacturer. Now, like I said, I thought that was pretty common knowledge, but you know, that wording is far more confusing than it needs to be. And the only reason why I'm commenting on this, if you already knew this, is because I'd say maybe 30 or 40% of the comments on my, you know, post, and I think it's upwards of 100 right now, were all sharing that same sort of question. Why, Daniel, are you saying that Beckett are not accountable for this when I read their service and it says they authenticate it before they grade it? That only applies to in-person autographs. It does not apply to an autograph certified by the manufacturer. And they also take a different stance depending on the manufacturers. I know Leaf has had some accusations in the past around some of their autographs being authentic. I, I don't think PSA certify those. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but they do take positions, especially for some of these you know, smaller businesses as well. But for the most part, if there's a guarantee on the back of the card, they only grade the card itself. They grade the order. They don't authenticate the order. The same logic applies to patches as well. If you're buying a card thinking that you're safe because the patch is genuine, you're, you're not safe in that regard, right? Because the auto might be fake, the patch might be fake, that guarantee falls on the likes of Panini and Tops themselves. They do not check the patch. And this raises lots of questions when it comes to patch issues because, you know, that sort of wipes the graders' hands clean of when things like patch swaps happen, right? Because they try and say, well, we're not grading that in the first place. But at the same time, in my opinion, these graders should be able to determine whether or not a patch shop has occurred or whether or not, you know, an auto on a card like that Nelson Rada should or shouldn't be there. Um, again, the blame shouldn't really fall on BGS too much. It should really fall onto Tops and Fanatics because it appears they were quite aware that these cards may have been backdoored. Um, and you've got an athlete being so confident that he's not his autograph. And I've had, you know, dozens of people have told me they've reached out to Tops and Fanatics to talk through this issue and they've been telling them for months they've not heard anything back. So it's just a it's just a weird situation. Let's sort of see what comes from this because I think that's a pretty big deal. Someone did correct me earlier today where I spoke about this being fraud. 
you know, there's a forgery element here too. You've got somebody that is signing an autograph that is not theirs and trying to make off like it is their own. That's the kind of thing as discussed with them this morning, or this individual who reached out to me on, on that, that would likely get the authorities like the FBI involved. Forgery is a big bloody deal, not to mention the fraud element. This is not something that can be swept away, given that, you know, like I just said, you've had people tell me, you know, for months that they've been reaching out to tops and they've not heard anything back. If tops and fanatics were aware of this and they didn't do anything about it, that is a huge bloody problem. And now when you're factoring in that people are fraud, you know, forging orders and committing fraud by trying to sell these cards as genuine, you've got a big bloody problem on your hands. You know, fanatics need to act very bloody quickly to get these cards essentially, you know, taken down and decertified from these graders until they can determine for 100% certainty that they are genuine. They've not been backdoored. They've not been tampered with, right? You're exposing a lot of customers right now, and this is not, you know, good enough. So if you haven't seen the backdoor videos, please check them out. I just wanted to quickly put this out there to clarify some of that confusion around BGS because it seems a few people had that sentiment or had that thought process, which again is not your fault considering how weird the wording is on their website. Um, no weekly news today. I've got some, you know, interesting things coming regarding, you know, trade nights being cancelled out at the National. There's some interesting mail coming my way. There's a few other things I want to talk to as well, but I'm not going to do that today just because I've got a card show and I don't want to bore you with too much information all in one go. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will, you know, see you in the next one. Cheers.